Alrighty, good morning guys. Uh, well, I actually say good morning for like the next two minutes because in two minutes time it's going to be the afternoon. So, But anyway, good morning. Uh, we are back with another vlog. We haven't done one for a few, well, a couple of months now because we've not had the chance really, have we? We've been, since we've been back at work, we've been kind of busy, so. Uh, and our days off haven't lined up. And our really. days off haven't lined up and stuff like that, so we don't really have the chance to do any vlogging. However, kind of a good job in some ways because we have a vlogging upgrade. Yeah. We have a new toy. A new toy, which is which is always interesting because new toys are great. But it took us a long time to get it. Yeah, it took us a long time to get it. We ordered we we ordered this during the first lockdown. Uh, that's when we ordered it, and it was supposed to be received within what a few weeks, wasn't it? Well, no, it was a Kickstarter campaign, wasn't it? So we knew there was going to be a delay. Right. Yeah, that's Mrs. A, by the way. Hey, morning, guys. Sorry. So yeah, so I'm yeah, just ordering the coffees. Yeah, <laughs> just ordering the coffees. So yeah, it's a Kickstarter campaign which we ordered. So there was going to be a bit of a delay. We knew that was going to be a bit of a delay, but we weren't expecting a big of a delay as what we ended up having because of the, the pandemic and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, it finally arrived what three, four days ago, uh, something like that. Yeah, you need to get the case out. So yeah, um, so and it's uh, it's pretty awesome really because of course. Obviously, as you guys know, I use the use the iPhone to to vlog with, and I get hand cramp after a while, uh, purely because of just holding the phone. So we've uh, got this new this new item, which is going to help me with the uh, with the hand cramp, and also help me keep uh, the camera a bit more steady as well, which is always a good thing. So without further ado, I'll show you. Alrighty, so first things first uh, is the case. So this is the case that it physically comes in. Uh, you've got a little mesh pouch at the back here, which is where I've currently got, if I can get into it, the charging cable. No, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So the charging cable's there. And uh, yeah, and then it's kind of a, it's a hard case. You can kind of see just about the shape of what the actual item is, because that shape there is the actual shape of the actual item. Um, so yeah. I'll open it up quickly. There we go. Right. So yeah, so the actual item fits into there. Nicely, just like that. Okay. Now, uh, some people may recognize the logo on the case. Maybe. Not. Maybe. But then again, you might not. Anyway, the company's called Shift Cam. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the case that it physically comes in. And uh, yeah, I'll now show you the actual item itself. So yeah, so here it is. It's this bad boy just here. Okay. So you've got the um, the actual part there that the actual phone sits into. That also swivels, uh, which I'll get Jill to quickly do so she can so you can have it in landscape mode or portrait mode. Okay. The two buttons you've got there, one is to actually connect it Bluetooth wise and the other one is to actually turn it on for charging. The item will charge your phone as well at the same time. So like your phone actually sits in, oh hang on, let me just take that off the screen. Yeah, so your phone will sit into the into the dock there. Yeah, like that. Into the dock. Uh, and yeah. And then you've got um, on the other side, you've got uh, a fire button here. Okay, that is so that you can either take a picture or Start press recording. recording or stop recording. So nice big ergonomic nice big grip. Ergonomic grip on the back so there. As you can see compared to oh let's see that I lost an L this morning. Oh yeah, Jill lost an L this morning, yeah. So grip wise, you see it's literally the size of my hand. Yeah. Actually that's really bad. Nice padded strap. Nice padded strap, yeah. Um there is actually a thing on the top you can add You can um, add, yeah, um flashes and whatnot. Extra things. And then you've got a tripod hole. Tripod on. hole at the bottom. So yeah. And there's your charge hole. And the charge hole at the bottom too, yeah. So all in all. A really good little nifty device so we're going to be using this today uh, while i'm doing the vlog today so yeah because uh, today is basically test day to see how it actually operates and see how it, if it works right i'm yeah. going to one of mrs a's favorite shops and we're going to one of mrs a's favorite shops yeah we're going to go and get some stuff for the studio Mrs. A started the studio yeah mrs a started the side of the studio my what? side of the studio we started. already got yours oh mine was more important so yeah We've got some stuff for uh, my side of the studio, uh, what, two weeks ago? Because uh, my side is actually on camera a lot more, so it needed to be done. Uh, we're going to go and get some stuff for Mrs. A's side of the studio today. Uh, so they can get that sorted out as well. So, I've yeah. got the studies. So, right, we'll uh, get these coffees and then catch you in a little bit. 
Right, okay then guys, so we are now on the road and uh, traveling along to uh, Ikea. We're going to Ikea in Birmingham now as well, by the way, because the Ikea in Coventry closed down during the, uh, was it the second lockdown? Mm, I, I think it was the second lockdown, I'm pretty sure it was. Anyway, we got ourselves a coffee and from Costa, so we're all getting ourselves fueled up and whatnot. Although I did spill some of it on me because we hit a bump and then the coffee decided to come out of the little hole at the top it's on all over me. It spurted out. It spurted out and uh, all over my trousers. So yeah, great. Great start to the day. Yeah, you've made a mess of yourself already. I've made a mess of myself already. We've only been on the road five minutes. But anyway, besides that, uh, yeah, so we're traveling away, uh, on our way, sorry, to Birmingham and uh, to on the, the IKEA. On the Notorious MC. Yeah, on the no no Notorious M6 to uh, go to IKEA. So yeah, we'll um, see you there in a bit. Alright then guys, so we are nearly there, we're 2.2 miles away, roughly, well 3 miles actually, um, yeah 2.2 until the next junction that we've got to turn off on. Uh, but um, one thing we noticed actually this time around, we've never actually noticed before, is the number of cameras, traffic cameras, on the M6. There is literally shed loads. It is, it is ridiculous. 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 All the donkeyuses. It's crazy. I mean, we're literally just passing one right there, just now. So yeah, they're and further apart now. Than they're further apart there, uh, there, now than they were earlier on. But literally, it was. You know how you can see um, lamp posts in high streets and stuff like that, and how far apart they're spaced. They're fairly close, aren't they? That's pretty much how close the cameras were on this stretch of the M6. It was kind of crazy. But. Yeah. Hey, yeah, but then again, yeah, we, and we think that they're traffic cameras as well, not speed cameras, because there were so many of them. So we think that they were actually traffic cameras. Um, and also because there's no like speed camera signs. And there's no speed camera signs, yeah. There is for here. Because there is for here. We've yeah. got some yellow ones. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's just mental. Just amazing how you can suddenly notice something that you've never noticed before. Uh, you know, and we've done this this trip probably maybe two or three times. Something like that, so we just never noticed it before. Anyway, so yeah, we're nearly there, and um, yeah, we'll see oh, when we get there. And the bridge scenes. Hmm? The bridge scenes. Oh yeah, and the bridge scenes, yeah. When they've made bridges as well, they've, um, they've obviously the, 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 the sections of the bridge joined together. They haven't done a very good job with the seams, because they're literally bump, 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 bump. It's kind of crazy. But anyway, as I say, we're nearly there. We'll see you there. All right, okay then, guys. So we have reached IKEA, as you can see. Um, so yeah, just have to take my jacket off as well because when we left the house, it was actually quite cool. Uh, but now it's got bloody hot, so. Oh, it was cool enough even for me to put a jacket on. Yeah, exactly. It was cool enough even for Mrs. A to put a jumping on. And she's normally very, very warm normally. So yeah. Anyway, we're here. We're gonna get ourselves in. We're gonna stop off for lunch first. Yeah, yeah man, we're gonna have those uh, IKEA meatballs. Hell yeah. Right, well that is the cheaper flight coming in. Wait, 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 wait. On my system here, oh crikey. Really? Oh, making me climb over things. Right, so anyway, yeah, get in, get those meatballs, and then uh, and start getting sorted.
so uh, sitting down in the restaurant and we've got our uh, good old meatballs. So yeah, uh, so those meatballs just there. So yeah, and because um, obviously we had a hot drink in the car on the way up here, uh, we decided to go for uh, this stuff here. We've had this one for four. We had this last time we came here actually, and it's really good. We're not from here. No, we didn't have it from here, did we? What was it, B&M? Yeah, we had it from B&M. Uh, it's really good stuff, so yeah, we can have some of that. So yeah, all good, all good. Oh yeah, and we also got a little uh, apple pie tart apple thing. Cake. Apple cake. To share. To share. Uh, for here as well, so yeah. So yeah, we're gonna eat this, and then we'll get cracking on, and uh, having a look, wandering around, having a look around Ikea. Right, okay then guys, so that was, uh, lunch done and dusted and out of the way so we what uh -huh. stuffed yeah and a little bit of stuff now for that as well so yeah so we're gonna have a little wander around now and see what uh see what's what and all that sort of stuff you know i actually quite like this shelving system nice. yeah that's quite nice big ass shelving system up here look no, I like the metal. no no i'm just saying I, I like it as well that's actually what we're actually here for, by the way. We are actually here for a shelving system, uh, which is the same as the one I've got behind me during stream. Not, the, not this one, you know, at home in the studio. Um, but it's a slightly thinner one. thinner one, yeah. So not quite as wide, basically. Uh, it's for Jill's end of the uh, studio. Uh, just to kind of tidy that little bit, end up a little bit. For her, yeah. Everything else. Basically, for her sewing and crafting and all that sort of jazz. So, in case you don't remember, during the first lockdown, Jill made some face masks, uh, which were actually really, really good. Um, and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, she, she makes all sorts of stuff. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so that's all it. Uh, that's what we're trying to sort out. So, she's got somewhere to go when I'm not streaming, obviously, because we can't have her using a sewing machine when I'm streaming. Oh yeah, no, it's also for when I'm off. And for when she's off work, yeah. So yeah, because uh, that's coming up at some point. Anyway, let's continue and have a look. home before now but um, I think this sink might be taking the piss just a little bit I mean look at the size of that what the hell are you gonna be able to wash up in that well, look, it's, it's a hand and a half stretch yeah it's basically a hand and a half stretch for Jill across which is kind of not that that's a standard new uh, like standardized unit of measure but it's even so fast. You can't get that cool in that. I'm going to put pops in there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, our pops are huge. We won't be able to fit our pops in there. Crazy. Anyway, let's continue on. I'm going to look around.
killing guys so this here is the shelving unit that we've come here to get um, obviously as we say not quite as wide uh, for Jill we're gonna get one that's probably I think it's about half the, half the width uh, 36 centimetres, not 50. Okay, so yeah, yeah, so this one's 50, we're going for 36. So not quite half, but yeah, nearly. So yeah, and we're probably going to be going for the same sort of height as well on Jill's one. So yeah, get more stuff stored away. Because that's our main problem with the guys still our house, is storage. In all honesty, it's storage. We've got so much crap. Yeah, but we are working through our crap though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Working through all, all of our crap. Obviously, the majority of it is just stuff to keep. Unfortunately. So, you know. But it's stuff that we've picked up in other houses that just does not fit in our current house and stuff like that. So, or it has no real need. Yeah. Although Jill's been trying to get me to get rid of my cable, my spare cables and stuff for God knows how many years. Still haven't gotten rid of it. And I don't intend to. Yeah. Because they've come in handy. As I keep telling you. They have come in handy before, right? Not happy. Tough. I'm not getting rid of them. They come in handy, telling you. They've come in handy for Jill once anyway. They come in handy for me a lot more than that, obviously. So yes, the spare cables box stays. So anyway, that's what we're here for. That's what we need to find. See, one of the good things about coming to IKEA is you can check out things such as kitchen designs and stuff like that. Now it's a good thing because it gives you ideas but it's also a bad thing because you're like i want it but i can't get it right now do you know what i mean do anybody else have that issue because we do you see these things in like ikea or b and q or wherever it may be somewhere that does like kitchen designs or, or living room designs or whatever it might be and you're like i really really like that and i really really want it but I can't afford it right now. Or I haven't got the actual space to do the same Or thing. don't have the space to actually do it. Yeah. That's kind of, my thing at the moment. It's annoying. Space. It's annoying. I tell you. Absolutely annoying. But hey, yeah, that's one of those things, isn't it? Just torture yourself when you go around like here. So, of course, another thing we're going to need with regards to the shelving unit for Jill is boxes to uh, put stuff in. So we've got a lot of boxes for my, for my shelf. And... Uh, and whatnot. So yeah, we've got to purchase some boxes for Jill now. So, and these are the ones we're going to go for. This, this style here, which is called Samla. Um, they come in all different sizes. So uh, yeah, you've so, got the super big size. The super big size, all the way down. Yeah, which is over there. Look, that one just there is the one. It's one of the ones that I've got. That's what I got for my cables uh, and all that sort of jazz. And then we've got varying degrees of down downgrading size as well so smaller ones from my comics which of course i'm now collecting of course so yeah get some of these from jill and then she'll be set for storage well hopefully we'll see all right okay so that's all the uh all the small stuff got i say small stuff you know what i mean all the storage containers and all that sort of stuff Plus we picked up some new light bulbs for our lamps downstairs because Jill's are starting being a bit weird. You have to like click it on and off between several, 20 and 30 like, times. Between 20 and 30 times just before it can come on. So I think it's the bulb that's gone, so we're gonna change that out. So we're now at the very bottom of IKEA, so we're gonna go and get the um the shelving unit. So that's the next thing. Because uh, we need to get that. Where do you say it was? Aisle 42, number 15. There we are. Aisle 42, number 15. And your nice. shelf. Oh, yeah, my uh, thing because yeah, I need a, Ooh, no I need a cover for my top shelf. Okay. He's in 44 12. Okay. 42 and 44. All right, let's get going. Okay, so we managed to get um, two of the Omar shelves for Jill. Uh, obviously, the storage containers for her as well. Uh, but the shelf cover for my shelf is basically out of stock so yeah we got down there and there was none there so a bit of a bit of a ball ache so we're just stopping off at the self-service point just to see if there's any other shelf covers no, that's uh, still saying low stock still saying low stock okay well that low stock is actually no stock so yeah i'm gonna go into the um hub okay wait what am i staying here 
Okay. So yeah, so we'll have to come back another time and get the shelf cover, which is a little bit annoying. So, oh well, never mind. Another trip to Arcade at some point. That's all it means. So anyway, we're gonna. Uh, Jill's gonna go and see the, the little hub thing over there. You know, the bargain corner type thing. And uh, then we'll get to listen to the car and then get going. So yeah. Right, okay then guys, so uh, we're now back at the car as you can see. Um, the car is all loaded up, as you can see as well. One other thing we actually picked up on the way out, these Gifla cinnamon roll bun things. They're nice, really nice. If you go to Ikea, pick up a bag, I'm telling you, they're awesome. Um, so yeah, so as I say, we're back outside. Just as we were kind of finishing up, just when I was recording the last clip that you just saw, uh, just after I stopped recording, a uh, security guy came over and asked me to stop recording. So I was like, yeah, no problem. So stop recording, did as he ask, no problem. I mean, I'd already stopped recording anyway. Um, just surprised because it's the first time I've ever been asked not to record yeah. in Ikea. First time ever. Um, I think, oh, in the car. I think the reason for it is because before, when I used to record, it was just me, get my bag off, and my phone. Of course, now I've got this grip, so it's plainly obvious what I'm doing. Um, so maybe that's the reason why he actually physically noticed I was recording. I mean, personally, I don't think there's much difference personally but that's me so anyway right everything into back in the car we are now going to head back towards Coventry because we've got to actually go pop it into work actually pick up those bits mm. so yeah we've got some bits to pick up from the hotel because I hadn't done, had some bits delivered to the hotel as opposed to home because of course I was asleep yesterday because I've just finished my night shifts so we're going to pick top up the hotel pick up these bits and uh, then head home so yeah Get on cracking and uh, get cracking with that then, shall we? Right, okay then guys. So uh we have stopped off at the hotel, picked up the packages, one of them was not there. Which is a bit of annoyance because you know I kind of wanted that. But never mind. I'll have to wait. Yes, I'll have to wait. Uh but I've got the main stuff anyway, which is the, which is which is, the stuff, which is actually the stream upgrade stuff which I uh got. So the other one's not really anything to do with the stream it's just a convenience thing so yeah um, so at least I've got the main part so at least I can get all that stuff installed uh, and up and running and working so that's the main thing um, so yeah so we're basically on our way home now and we got to go and then we've got to put up all this stuff yeah get it, it all cut up awesome. no true it doesn't take long so that's good so yeah we're gonna put all this up uh, and then I've got to obviously get all my stuff installed as well ready for tomorrow's stream so yeah, don't forget guys, I'm streaming tomorrow. The link will be down in the description. And uh, yeah, um, we'll see what happens. You're only streaming tomorrow because I'm back at work. Oh yeah, I'm doing a six hour stream tomorrow too. Yeah, because you like to change our days work-wise. So as a result, it means I've got six hours worth of time to stream. So, so yeah, a nice long one tomorrow guys. Um, actually, yeah, the journey from Ikea to the hotel, by the way, weird. was weird took us on a route we had no idea where the hell we were oh, no. um it was fun yeah but, school kicking out time, which but yeah it was school kicking out so much we did get a little bit delayed with traffic and stuff but hey uh, there we go anyway onwards to the house right okay then guys so we are now back at the house um as you can see i'm currently in the studio um so yeah so the plan is is to get all this sorted out uh Sorry. Lovely, love, love. That is just great. Anyway, despite uh, Mrs. A burping like a trooper, um, <laughs> we're going to get this sorted out. So, I'm going to quickly turn the camera around and show you what it's like right now. What um, you see now behind you? No, they can't I'm too high up. So, yeah, I'm too tall for that. So, but yeah, I'll turn the camera around and show you what it looks like now, and then we'll uh, show you what the plan is as well. Okay, so this is what it looks like at the minute. So, this is behind me uh, when I'm streaming. This is the current new shelving unit for in here. Okay, you've got the pop figures and stuff, and then the tubs and stuff like that for uh, 
uh, comics and other bits and bobs and stuff as well. The big um, box which has got the cables in is downstairs still because we're waiting for this unit to come up. Uh, that's Mrs A's desk there. Okay. And then we've got all my streaming bits just there. Okay. Now the bits that are going to be changing today are this microphone. Okay, which is new one is here. We're going for the old uh, Hyperx Quadcast, along with a pop filter. We've also got a new um, boom arm as well because the one that we've currently got is a bit damaged and is starting to come off the table. So, and in order to sort out lighting in this room as well, we've got RGBW floodlight, and the idea behind that is it's going to light up that back wall a little bit so yeah that's the idea behind that and hopefully that will all work oh yeah and the new shelving unit is going to basically be going just there so yeah that's the idea mm -hmm. so we'll get cracking once it's all installed and put up and whatnot we'll uh, we'll show you again two hours later Right, okay then guys, so we're done for today with regards to getting this room sorted out. So yeah, thank God it's been getting really, really hot up here. And um, yeah, to the point of where I was getting very, very sweaty, so I had to change my t-shirt. So yeah, um, but we're all done, we're all done. So I'm gonna quickly turn the camera around and I'll show you the difference from earlier. So yeah. Right, okay, so that's the same as it was earlier on. Pretty much just an extra folder just there. That's one of my folders. Uh, these pictures here will be changing at some point, by the way, just so you are aware. So Jill's got her little desk space there now, and then that's the shelving unit next to Jill's chair there. Okay, all right. Now it's a little bit more tightly packed in here than it was before. So here is now my section okay and that's the new light there now it was supposed to illuminate this back wall a little bit more however the cable on it as it turns out is a little bit short so I've got to figure that out somehow so yeah it might need to have to possibly maybe rewire that or something uh, but yeah for the most part though it kind of works it illuminates the back wall a little bit which is the main thing uh, and then of course we've got the new mic which is in there looking all nice and lovely so yeah right then that's all that done so yeah time to um chill out now basically so i'm gonna go downstairs and i'll catch up with mrs a right then guys also um as i promised you uh, as well earlier on in the vlog actually at the beginning of the vlog when i was discussing about this new shift cam thing that uh, we've now got um i'll let you know what my thoughts are on it and do you know what? Overall, really, really good piece of kit. I quite like it. You know, I mean, oh, I didn't mean to turn my hand there. I was <laughs> trying to look at my the back of my hand. Um, yeah, really, really good. I like the fact that, of course, it's enabled me to be able to hold my phone without holding my phone. So I'm holding a an ergonomic grip uh, with a with a finger trigger thing on the on the um, on the top there. Really, really nice. Plus, of course, the strap for around the hand as well. It actually does make you feel like you're using a proper camera, in a way. Um, but you're not, obviously, because you're using a phone. Um, and, of course, as a result, it makes it a bit more steady. So I'm not having, you're not having my, my shaky hand all the time because, of course, my hand's cramping up and stuff like that. I will say that the added extra little bit of weight does obviously make your arm make after a little while. But to be fair, your arm makes anyway when you're doing vlogging normally anyway. So... Not much of a difference there, to be fair. The only other downside I could see is, is before when it was just me and the phone, um, you couldn't really tell what I was doing. You couldn't really tell I was vlogging, really, um, and stuff like that. But this, it makes it plainly obvious that that is what I'm doing. Again, it doesn't bother me personally, but it may bother some people. Uh, it's an all-round good piece of kit for videographers and photographers alike. Um, so I highly recommend anybody who's into videography or photography to pick one up. If they're using their mobile phone for everything, I would say pick one up, get one. I don't think that you'd be disappointed in the slightest. So yeah. 
Right, okay then guys. So Mrs. A. I'm tired. Yeah, she's tired. It's a long day, ain't mm. Oh bless you. So anyway, but yeah, so all in all, successful day. Nearly. A couple of bits still missing. Well yeah. We didn't get the the, the shelf cover. cover. Which is unfortunate. Just means we've got to go again. Yeah, just means we've got to go like here again. And the as I say, the light that I got for the room, not quite right. I mean, the, the, the light is correct, and the light works and does what I wanted to do, okay. but the cable's not long enough for me to position it properly, mm. which is an unfortunate series of events, but I'll fix that. Extension cable. Yeah, but I can't extension cable into an extension cable. That's how it goes that you've got it into the wall, haven't you? That's a good point. I'll have to have a look at it. I can't remember now. But anyway, we've got to get another extension cable for your side anyway. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, we'll sort it out. Yeah. I'll, sort it. I'll get it sorted. I'll get it sorted. Uh, so, yeah. And like I said, the only other thing that's really needed in that room at the minute then is just the artwork, which we're still winning. Yes. So. I don't know when that's coming. No. Yeah. Oh, and of course the other thing. When, if it turns up. If it turns up. Mm. So, hopefully it will. So, yeah. Right then. We're going to come on end to the vlog here, guys. Mrs. A's yawning her head off as usual. So we're going to call an end to the vlog. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Very much appreciated. If yep. you enjoyed the video, smash that little thumbs up button. Very much appreciated. And uh, if you're not subscribed already, guys, as well, please do so. That'll be also greatly appreciated as well. That way, then, you see, every time we upload a new vlog, you'll get notified. We decided to do one out of the blue. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like We haven't done one for a couple of weeks. Well, for well, a few. A couple, couple of months. months. A couple of months, actually, because we've been too busy with everything. But uh, hopefully the next one won't be so long away. So... In the meantime, guys, take care of yourselves. Bye. Bye.